Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Mets going up against the Atlanta Braves. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And starting this one, Chris Sale. Well, Sale's a strikeout pitcher, and the thing about it is he'll throw strikes early, but then start teasing the zones, and that's what the great ones do. You got to make sure you elevate him, get him out over the plate. That's the only way you're going to have a chance. Okay, all set to go. Here's Francisco Lindor. The pitch. Outside. And we are underway. Next offering is in for a strike. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's Brandon Nimmo. With Chris Whoa, Sale on the mound that. today for Atlanta, I was thinking a bit about his career and his expectations here with the Braves. I think the biggest change for him is the fact that he won't be required to carry the entire pitching staff. This team will be able to survive if he has one of those tough stretches. Oh. Next pitch is downstairs. You know, Boog, Sale carried the load in Chicago and Boston when he pitched for the White Sox and Red Sox, but this staff in Atlanta is on a different level. He's even joked that he could pitch horrible and people won't even notice because he's surrounded by so much talent. This lefty matchup thing's not going so well. That is her. The third base Mark Vientos. Runner on at first with one gone. Mark Vientos up now for the Mets. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. High fly ball out towards left field. Way back there. And that one's gone. And the Mets jump in front. It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. <laughs> High fastballs, especially with good velocity, can be really hard to catch up to. But he stays tall, his top hand works extremely well, and he absolutely clobbered it. One out, base is empty. Now the batter now, Pete Alonso. Swing and a miss. Going one. Oh, one. Sale. Multi-time all-star. He features a slider, a four-seamer, a change-up, and he works in a sinker. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two gone now. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just punches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. In the air, left field, down the line, and ball. that is foul. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Two out spaces empty. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Sale delivers. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two.
That's down and in. A slider missed. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this. Ah. Now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Mets had two runs on this blast. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back here in Atlanta and on the hill in this one, Jose Quintana. What do you got on him, Chris? He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because the guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. And now the lefty. That one, one not close. And one and one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. The wind of the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. One up, one down. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. Fastball for a strike. That's no, off the mark. And a count even one and one. One ball. One out. One base strike. is empty. Next oh. offering is in for a strike. And another ball. Well, oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one wow. hitter. Bounce to the right side, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. And he deals. And they'll do it again. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And he hits a ground ball right side. And he takes it Ow. himself for the out. Batting third. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. One -oh. Way inside. Straighten him up a little bit. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Whips it to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Braves. Offense held a check there. End of the first from Truist Park. It's the Mets two and the Braves nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. Martinez, a former All-Star. 
over 1,000 runs batted in in his career, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. In there at the knees. You know, Booth, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. And sale deals. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. And that one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make a pay. Starling Marte up to him. Out towards right center field. Albies settles under it. And there's one down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Here's the second baseman. First pitch just misses. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. No. Just off the outside edge. And the count is 2-0. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit. So he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on. And now this is down for a base hit. Now a long throw home. It's offline. The run comes in, and they're up by three. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the pack. Just kind of muscled it out there, and you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Man at first with one gone, and stepping in for New York, Francisco Alvarez. Foul ball. Sale ready. Five, two. two really good back to back sliders now in an 0 2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere one, he wants. Two. Next offering is down low. Man at first, one away. Two, two. Chase that time. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Step off, throw to first, he's and he's back in safely. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. Yeah, he got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. So the batting order turns over. Francisco Lindor up now for the Mets. First pitch, and he just misses. Strike on the inside corner. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Hard grounder into the outfield for a nine. Throw stops the lead runner at second. 
Two on and two out. The bat All bat. over that one right the there. Pitch. Smash that one Ran through the out. infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Here's the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. That one out to right. Solaire gets under it. And that is that. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 3-0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Matt Olson. Quintana back to work. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. And it's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Everything came together for him. Got to the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Here's Sean Murphy. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. There's a strike at the knees. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. And he'll two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Olsen gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Out towards left center. And that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. You'll take those no tough hits off the end of the bat all yeah, day right. long. It doesn't mean you put a great swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. Here's Jared Kelnick. That one's in there on one. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. A one now. Late swing, foul to the left. Here's the 0-2. Bounce to third. Vientos to second. Pulls him off the bag. Gior Shella to the plate. Just no, missed. The, the opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher is up against the wall. Make him come to you. The one off. Fall off foul. They need a strikeout. And you need a ball, perhaps on the ground for a double play, or get yourself a pop up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel. His timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Orlando Arcia. 
Oh. Shortstop takes the ball. The pitch. That one ripped right center field. Could be extra bases. One run is in. Two runs across now. In there safely. It's 3-3. Three, three. Wow. Big time swing of the bat to drive in all three runners and tie this thing up. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing. Nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Man at second with one away. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Michael Harris. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. And here it comes. That one ripped. Way back there. Gone! They must be going crazy in the dugout. Just like that, they move in front. It's 5-3. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Ball. Got a good eye there. 1-0. One down, base is empty. Ball two. Clearly, he hasn't had Yoke it in strike. this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Popped up. Makes the grab. That's out number two. Well, that's a now frustrating that, end to the at bat for the hitter right there. Oh, I mean, that pitch was right oh, down baby. the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Albies ball, no. stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. One ball, one strike. Back and there's ball. a ball. That ah. one's in there. That's strike two. Offense exploding for five so far in the inning. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. But they take the lead thanks to a five-run outburst. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Braves five and the Mets three. On to the third inning. Here's a big power threat. Mark Vientos. And a pitch. That one almost got him. Swings here and blasts one left field. And that ball is gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 5-4.
let's take another look at it, but this time with the help of StatCast. Well, this one wasn't hit that high, but when you can launch it at 111 miles per hour off the bat and get some backspin, it'll carry enough to get out of here. Here's Pete Alonso. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. That yeah. one finds the zone. Strike oh, one. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Just oh, no. missed. Backdoor one breaking one. ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire to give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Next offering is in for a strike. Speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Here's Jesse Winker. He's 0 for 1. Ball Pitch one. misses there, and that's ball one. And a foul ball. The Braves up by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that one's a little bit low. And a count two and one. Way out front for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Swung up, popped up, left side. Urshela under it. Two away down. J.D. Martinez stands in. One for one with a double and a run score. Yeah. Best ball for a strike. No ball. One strike. And that one fouled off. Deal two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 5-4 ball game. And we're back. Lady now Daniel, it's the DH, right Marcelo Zuna. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Pitch misses inside. Now one and two. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The first base. Here's Ben Olson. Singled and scored his first time. Lots of players perform better at home, and this batter is no exception. Might be the crowd or the familiar surroundings, but he's typically better in this environment. Fastball for a strike. That's off the mark, and it's one, one and ball. one. One strike. The 
the pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Two and Two one. one. And oh. that's outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And yeah, there's ball, ball four. four. First base. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer now, now, at it. Now he has somebody to worry hit. about over first. Yeah. Yeah. And at first, so down to the plate for Atlanta, Sean Murphy. And he's already singled in this game. Ball just outside. missed. Up foul territory behind the plate. Alvarez drifts towards it and a foul ball. Pitch oh. misses, ball two. Olsen at first, one gone. Next Three pitch, one. not close, up high. Oh. And that's in there at the knees. Good oh, yeah. right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate, stand on that double play. Downstairs, and it Take misses ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bad. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow yeah, yeah, yeah. he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder yeah, yeah. right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. So one out with two aboard. And now Jared Kelman. First pitch misses. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. And that one is lifted in the air. Nimmo ranging after it. He's got it. Runner tags at second. And he's up to third safely with two gone. Now back at the third baseman. Giorgio Shella steps in. And oh no. that one is in the dirt. One and oh. some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Runners on first and third. Two away. Missed. Ball, one Orlando five. Arcia up next. Oh. The 3 1 in for a strike. Full count. full count. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, bro. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Two out spaces loaded. Now in for the Braves, Orlando Arcia doubled his first time up. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. One one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Two outs. Bases are full. 
right through there for a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. At the belt and fires. Line drive, that's a base hit. One runs in. Here comes the throw. Save. And they lead by three. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Jose Quintana done for the afternoon, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Tyler McGill. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. So first and second with two outs. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. He's already homered in this game. And yeah, that's outside. And it's one to know. Two outs. That catches the corner. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. He Inside, won. almost got him. <laughs> right hander kicks deals. Now a screamer into the outfield. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. Runner from second scores as they add on, and it's 8 4. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. So the lineup flips over. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Jorge Soler. That clips the corner. Big moment in this game. Two outs, two runners in scoring position, and could really break this thing wide open early. Two on, two outs. Three on out. the corner for a strike, and it's only two. Center. Winker on a dead sprint. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that is that. Three runs, only two hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. On to inning number four. It's the Braves eight and the Mets four. Back at Truist Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Starling Marte. Marte. The lefty fires. Ball. That misses. Ball one. Well, these Mets did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played with four runs already. So I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. So now they forced that. the starter to Second put in easy. a lot of work, and they've we'll been able to get easy. to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Fouled off left side. The other way. Pulls it down and there are two away. That swing right there tells me he's seen the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. 
Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Ball one there. One ball, no strikes. Next offering is in for a strike. The Braves leading by four. Top half of inning number four. Next pitch in for a strike. Going to count one and two. One, two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Slides, but he can't come up with it. And that keeps the inning alive. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Hammers that one deep left field, and forget it. A gigantic blast. It's 8-6. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. <laughs> well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. is empty with two away. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The 0-1. And that one missing low. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. And with two outs, one swing puts you right back in this ball game. Swing, and he breaks his back. On the run, sends it over to first. Low throw, and he can't take it out. You know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks, and sometimes even worse. You, know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden, you get another out to get, and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for it. And now it's Mark Vientos. No, and that's, that's off the, ball. the inside edge. One and that's ball one. Two outs. That one down the line. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. The first base. So two down. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets, Pete Alonso. That's down and in. A slider missed. Kicks and fires. That's to third. They get the force. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Another look at the long ball from Francisco Lindor. It's now 8-6. Back here in Atlanta, bottom of the fourth. And now it's going to be Ozzy Albies. The right hander back to work. And a foul ball.
Righty to the plate. Ball and one. ball one. Swing and a pop-up. Alvarez under this one. Makes the catch for the out. Now that the designated hitter, Marcel. Here's Marcelo Zuna. And that one hammered. Nimmo going back on it. And that one is gone. He'll touch them all. And they add on. It's 9 6. Wasn't fooled on the first pitch at all. He squared it up right away. I'm sure he wanted that pitch down below the zone. It stayed up a little bit. He paid a dear price for it. Just a great swing to the ball, through the ball, and a nice round trip. Base is empty, one away. Matt Olson now at the plate. Yeah. In there at the knees for a strike. On, on the outside corner, that is strike two. the middle Lindor tosses to first and Olsen is set down now got it catcher John Murphy so here's Murphy now known for his rocket arm behind the plate Two down, nobody on. And there's a foul ball. The 0 2 stays alive. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. offering popped in the air right field Marte makes the catch in and go Braves get one on the big fly it's now 9-6 it's Major League Baseball and it's on the show and welcome back to the ballpark here's the left fielder Jesse Winker Jesse Winker in his seventh season, 30 years old now, and they traded for him earlier this year. Right through there for a strike. Well, these Mets, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Eight of their hits came off One the more. bat at 90 miles per hour or harder. These batters are not getting fooled right now. Next offering in there for a strike. One more. And a count. One and two. two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Oh. Got him swinging. Here's JD Martinez. One for two. JD Martinez. No balls and a strike to J.D. Oh, one. Wow. 
way one. outside. One and one. The Mets trailing by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. No. And that one a little below the knees. Two and one. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Pitch. Come on and miss. Struck him out. And now two gone. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter and just can eat you up, saw you off. Tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Marte in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. foul ball there this is important if he can go one two three here will be a very positive sign for him and for his team here's a one one no good oh, eye on that spot It's a strikeout. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And we're back. Bottom of the inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Jared Kellner. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0-1. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Oscar Brazoban up and loosening in the pen. Garrett getting cranked up as well. Left-hand batter waits. Ball. Breaking ball inside. And one now ball. it's even one, one and one. On, and a liner around into right center for a base hit. Around first, heading for two. And it's a leadoff double to start the bottom of the fifth. Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. Here's Gio Urshela. On the ground, right side. He handles it himself. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. That's a good piece of hitting right now there. Right. It's early, good but job. you still want to move More the runner up and give your team a chance to screw up. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Garcia in the box now. No balls and a strike. That's in there, and it's 0-2. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. And the right-hander deals. Outside low. Now 1-2. and two. Kelman takes his lead at third with one away. Look 
Just that time. Swing and a tapper. The flip. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. One gone runner at first. Michael Harris. Next up for the Braves. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And it's through for a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Now it's the right fielder, Jorge Soler. Ball. Outside low, and that's ball one. Ball. one. No strike. Two on, one out. Runners on the move. On the ground. He'll do it himself. Out. No shot at the double play with the runners going. That was a productive at bat. You know you're doing something right anytime you help move two runners in the scoring position and give your team a chance to drive in a few runs, even if it's still oh, coming early in the game. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the inning. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We're through five. It's the Braves 10 and the Mets 6. Back at Truist Park. New inning getting started. And stepping in for New York, number 11. Sale. Back to work. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Activity in the bullpen. Johnny Brebbia getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Lee also getting ready. Smash down the left field line. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Now he launches a throw over his head. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Brian Snicker out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. That does it for Chris Sale as the lefty makes way. And this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. Johnny Brebbia into the game. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So, a man aboard. So, up next for New York, Francisco Alvarez. First pitch, not close. And it's second. And it's fouled away. And the pitch. 2-1. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. And we're the top half of the sixth. Swings through that one for strike two. two they can live two up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Right-handed reliever. Still two and two after the foul ball. And 
the right he deals and a swing and a miss down on strikes not what you're looking for after the leadoff double a strikeout and there's one away well that's the money maker right there two strikes slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter I mean that's just tough you're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off Lindor in the box here lets that one go for a ball runner at second here one gone Right through there for a strike. For Lindor being drafted out of Montverde Academy, he's a guy that's turned into one of the best all-around players in the game. Ball Up and two. in, and that's ball two. Right side, and it goes just foul. The pitch. Swing and a base hit around third. The throw in. Safe. Picks himself up an RBI. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. One down. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. One for three. Fall off foul. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Check on the runner. Lindor back in there. I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score on a ball in the gap. Harris makes the grab. Up next to the net, the third base is Mark Viento. Now a chance for Mark Vientos. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Runner on the move. That's in for a strike. And safe. It's a stolen base. Well, he's really showing us the dynamic skill set he brings to the field on this one. Homered earlier. Now he swipes second, showing off the speed. Really fun to watch him play the game. Lindor on its second with two down. No. Just missed. Strike two. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. It is not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Hard hit to third. Throws the first in time. They limit the damage here, but the RBI single pushes across a run. It's a three-run game at 10-7. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Atlanta, and now Marcelo Zuna. Here comes a pitch. Up and in, 1-0. and oh. Inside corner at the knees, that's a strike. Good fastball. Got the back going too soon, it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. 
And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. The batter. Yeah. The first base. Matt Olsen. And now Matt Olsen up to hit. Swing and a miss. Going one. No ball. One strike. Wouldn't chase that time. One one. Hit on the ground might be two. Goes to second no. for one. Over to Alonzo. Double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Now, here is Sean Murphy. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Next offering upstairs. And ball another two. ball. Two balls, one strike. Two outs. Two. Two, two. Got it by him. Three. Three. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Luke Jackson. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. The first base. The Mets in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And a pitch. And no. a good eye there. One ball, no strike. Ball. And misses inside. Swing and a foul straight back. The count two and one. Three one. And it's ball, ball four. four. He missed down low. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Well, the layoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Righty delivers. Two Nobody out. Runner at first. Ground ball right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Lead runner around second. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Well, that was one of those high percentage now, advantage now, counts where batting game. averages are just so much higher. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. 
Here is J.D. Martinez. And that's down and away. With the tying run at the plate, here in the top half of inning number seven. That's Swing and a miss. Strike one. One ball. Oh, no fair one right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pit. The tying run at the plate. Ball. And another ball. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Tying run at the plate. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result okay. be whatever it's going to be. Up and in, and that's ball three. the ground could be two takes it himself for one and a run Got scores on the double play first and third nobody out you're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here so that double play is pretty deflating they get the run in but now they're starting all over here's starling Marte. there's a strike Two down, nobody on. Down. Yeah, big Three. swing and a miss. He has a tendency to chase one, out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. short tosses to first Marte retired and that is the inning but they push across one run one hit no errors and nobody left on seventh inning stretch time it's the Braves 10 and the Mets 8 we're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh Reed Garrett pretty tight game so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here got to do his best to keep the score right where it is Now the left fielder, Jared Kelman. No left fielder. Jared Kelman. And here it comes. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And he'll one. Ball. Swing it a foul straight back. And a pitch. Ball that two. one just misses. It's a good take. Two ball. Two strike. Next Ooh, offering yeah. is downstairs. Rips that one to right. Takes it in for the out. Now that the third baseman. Now, Gio oh, Urshela. And 
and that one is inside. Garrett, he's one of those guys that seems like he's out there to do just one thing, and that's strike people out. And the next pitch is way outside. Action in the pen down there. Oscar Brazobon getting loose out there. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Fouls one off. Two and two. One down, base is empty. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on-deck circle. And he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Pitch. And that's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really no, patient no, no. at the play. No, the game no, plan no. that he's sticking four to is just not going outside of what he's four looking for right there. And the batter will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Ball. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. He looks frustrated when a guy puts a ball in play. And that's what you're doing. You're coming in, putting out a fire, high leverage situation. And with his kind of stuff, everyone expects him to strike out hitters. Just miss. When you think about building a bullpen, is strikeout rate one of the main things you're looking at? Absolutely. And we're talking about working from the back forward. Those last three. three innings are the toughest ones of the ball game. Urshela leads off first with one away. in there and that is strike one that clips a corner swing and a miss struck him out and there's two down it's a good breaking ball there, just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, no but it's close no enough to where you've got to protect, and he just couldn't find a way to fight it off. And stepping in is the speedy Michael Harris, and he's already left his mark on this game. He certainly has, Boog. A two-run shot in the second inning, and that made an early impact on this game in a big way. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Next pitch is downstairs. Left-hand hitter waits. That one misses, and it's two and one. One strike. A little out front there as he swings through it. Lifted to left. Winker should have it. Brings it in. And that'll do it. One left for Atlanta. They lead it, though. It's 10-8. Welcome now, back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Number Joe seven, Jimenez. Seven, seven. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Now it's the second baseman. The second baseman. Jose Iglesias.
the pitch to third Urshela to first in time one up one down the catch at number four Francisco at the play Francisco Alvarez Jimenez goes six feet three inches 29 years old and he was born in Puerto Rico in uh -huh. for a strike going along the Braves leading by two and we're at the top of the eighth that one misses one. the zone and the count even one and one Focus. wouldn't chase that time Gets a piece and stays alive. to him Francisco Lindor right through there for a strike he must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early it was right down Main Street probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat and that's off the inside edge one ball. and the count one is strike. one and one Two outs. And it's strike two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the One eighth. More. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. On the ground to the left. Slings it across. Out. Lindor retired. And the Mets go 1-2-3. Mets go down quickly. Can't cut in to a 10-8 deficit. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Oscar Brazovov. Back to the top of the lineup. Now, here is Jorge Soler. Jorge Soler. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. Riding to the plate. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Drifts towards it. And that's a foul ball. And he yeah. swings and misses at the initial no offering. One strike. Soler aboard here at first with nobody out. Let's go now. K 
checks and deals. Ball and that's one. downstairs and outside. Action in the Mets bullpen. Danny Young getting ready to go. And the right-hander deals. That's and ball. another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Here, Caught him looking for the K. And at first, now, and now. next is the designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. He's got the power, the great contact skills, one of the best contact hitters in the game. That's in for a strike. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter, way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. The pitch. Ball. Next offering is outside. 1-1. One, one. That one, one in the dirt, and a count two and one. And the righty deals. Ball That's three. outside, and a count is three and one. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. The three one. Ah. Right through there for a strike. Full count. <laughs> That one down the line, and that's just foul. Right handed reliever. Double play ball to second. To second, there's one. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Braves 10 and the Mets 8. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Rysel Iglesias. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. We see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Nimmo leading things off and takes a strike. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Two strikes. Line of the pitch. In the air, left field. Kellner settles under and makes the catch. And there's one away. The third He's two outs away. Here's the third baseman, Mark Vientos. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. There's a strike. Oh, the Mets trailing by two here at the top of the ninth. Ground ball right side That's and foul ball. foul ball. Oh, and two now. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. One down, base is empty. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And they'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Ball one. Ball 
off the mark there. Two and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. That one drifts inside. That's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Foul off again. And it remains three and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. And first offering is fouled off. is just one strike away up the middle oh great stop fires to first and what a play ball game what an exciting finish to this game an amazing play right there it's hard for the fans to go home they want more they're not ready to leave and head to their cars but an outstanding job to keep entertaining all the way to the end and this one ends the final 10-8 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew I'm John Chomby saying so long For the victorious Atlanta Braves, 10 runs on 11 hits, one error, they left six runners on base. For the men, eight runs on 12 hits, with one error, they left five runners on base. The winning pitcher is Chris Sale. The loss goes to Jose Quintana. Time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Braves and everyone at Truett Park, we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you.